Right, here it is, a little project I've uh, undertaken for the 2020 lockdown for coronavirus, so I'm stuck at home. Um, and I thought I'd get a little piano, like the one I had when I was a kid. Um, it's called a Pixiano, and they're made in England, or well, they were made in England, uh, in about the 1960s. I had one of these when I was a little, it was a white one, not a red one like this. Um, there's quite a lot of work to do on this. Um, I'm going to have to repaint it and uh, I managed to find a photograph of this uh, logo on the top. So I'm going to have to uh, print that out onto sticker paper or decal paper and uh, put the new uh, sticker or transfer on there. Uh, so uh, the keys, I'm probably going to use a permanent marker to put back the black um marks on the keys I've, I've cleaned up the keys and and so on the thing with these pixianos is they always broke and that's why there's hardly any of them around um they always have the legs missing and the music stand missing uh i still got the little book i had when i was a boy uh with the music on it um but i've mine my Pixiano long went to the graveyard many years ago. <laughs> what happens with them? Well, this is all in pieces, so you can see. I've taken all the little hammers off, which go on the end of the keys. And um, basically what happens when you press a key is it hits one of these rods. And makes a note. So this is fixed to the lid and that uh, ends up just above the keys there. The little hammers hit the rods to make the notes. And what always happens is some of the rods snap off. And I got this one recently on eBay and it, somebody had tried to repair it and they made some thicker rods which would fit in these larger holes. And um, in fact... They won't really work very well. I could make them work because I could taper them down in the grinder uh, and fit them in the, uh, the larger hole. But I've, what I've done is I've ordered some of the correct gauge 3mm steel rod and we'll make up the new ones to go in the six holes where the original ones went. Now, one thing worth noticing is somebody else is going to have a go at doing one of these is that when these have broken off obviously the stub of it will still be in in this block and just about everybody's probably going to do what i tried to do and that is to knock them through from this side tap them down and knock them through get the, get the uh, broken pieces out and as you can see probably see there i've managed to get get them out and the holes are, are empty now and the ones that are broken but they don't go out through this side they go out through this side because they're put in from this side so any attempt to knock them out this way is just going to drive them in harder in actual fact what I had to do was to put a screw or something like that in the little holes and put a washer this side so that there's somewhere for it to go and clamp it up in the vise and push the broken piece of rod out. So I've got as far as getting the old rods out, the new rods are on order. I've got a bit of woodwork and painting to do. On these another thing is that feet are just about always missing. So I've got to make three little feet for it. Probably make them on a lathe or, or, or use dowel rod and shape it. Um, so I'll make three little feet and there's a little music stand bit that goes in the top here. There's two rivets which I've taken out, which go there and there. Because I've got to sand all this down, to get some red paint, get the decal printed off, with the colouring on the keys. And when the rods finally come, the hard bit is going to be getting them the right length, so I get the right notes. Um, so obviously try and uh, cut them a little bit long. And then grind them till the, till the note is correct. Uh, so that's going to be quite a quite a job as well. But it's just a little job, and I thought that if anyone else is trying to do one of these ever, 
the thing the, the, the thing you're going to need to know is that these rods come out this way They're not not that way so you'll never drive that the broken piece by trying to push it that way it won't go it's got to go this way and the, what they do is they're flattened a bit uh, they flatten the rods before they bang them in so that when they drive them in this way the flattened part is is tapered outwards which jams in the hole and they, that wedges them in so they will come out but you've got to push them that way very hard um, and that's basically it the rest of it to be really cosmetic okay thanks for watching